Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and today I have the So Happy Die and Stamp set which is a showcase collection from Tonic Studios to share with you. And as you can see it consists of an A5 stamp set and an A5 die set and some of these work together but they all complement each other. So first of all, they come in these little plastic sleeves. I've just taken them out of the sleeves because I didn't want the glare. But they also have a little magnetic sheet on the back of the little, the little die set. So you can take your dies off the acetate sheet when you start to use them and then put them onto the magnetic sheet and pop them back in again and they're much easier to use. But just for, I think, for purposes of posting them out and whatever, there's acetate there as well. So let's have a little look and see what all is here. So first of all, I can see this beautiful little dress in the centre, in what in, oh, the stamps, I'll turn this over actually because I've already had this out and I'll let you into a little secret in a minute or two about what I was doing with that stamp set. So this is beautiful little dress and there's a little die there to match it. And I looked at that and I looked at this absolutely gorgeous set of um, sewing machine dies. You see there's an outline die there. I'll just move this across and show you it here. So there's an outline die and then there's the actual sewing machine that fits on top of that. And that reminds me of a beautiful sewing machine that I've got in my living room. It's an old, old family heirloom. And it made me think that this set would be really beautiful if it was done in vintage colours. So vintage style and beautiful muted colours. So I've actually gone ahead and picked out this beautiful Memories 12 by 12 paper pack from Tonic. And I am going to make my samples using that and some other Craft Perfect card that goes along with it. And I've already looked at this little dress and the dye on it here. And that paper pad being 12 by 12 has some rather large patterns in it, but some of them are small as well. And that little dress just fits on there perfectly. And I'm going to use that and these together. So I got a bit, little bit ahead of myself there, but uh, I thought that was absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to use that. So anyhow, let's go back because there's plenty more here. I'll set that one aside. That's probably my favourite one, I think. But... There's some absolutely stunning dies here. There's a lovely little body form, a little mannequin or whatever with detail inside it. And then a really cute pair of scissors. You know the old fashioned vintage type scissors with the scrolly hand pieces on them there. There's a piece of thread here, uh, a button. So there's the outside part and then the one that punches the little detail onto it and a thimble. Um, I'll probably have to cut these out to just be exactly sure what they are because just on first um, glance, I'm not too sure what this one is. But there's a zipper and it's open and then the little piece at the bottom to go along with it. There's a pin there, one that opens and closes. Another couple of buttons. And here are some more buttons and this would probably be a, a little stitch. Another button. I'm not too sure what this one is but I'll come back and have a look at that once I've cut it out. But here's this little dress that I was referring to a little while ago and a little hat that matches, a beautiful bow. And then we've got a needle here and this looks like some thread that would go through it and an absolutely beautiful little border die as well. And then if you look over at the stamp set, we've got stitching here, a closed zipper, a tape measure, a spool, a little bow, hat, scissors, peg, another spool and then to go along with this little dress there's shoes and a handbag there's also a little um, coat hanger or dress hanger and some other little buttons and then some sentiments so cute as a button you are cute as a button I love you mind to catch up and um, tailor made just for you thanks so happy we're friends and beyond measure and there's a little stitched label as well so lots and lots of beautiful things and as I've already picked out the paper and the card that I want to use I'll be back again with that in just a second or two. But I'll just tell you what I was doing with this dice, this stamp set. Whenever I'm going to make my samples and I don't know exactly which stamp I'm going to use first and I know I'll probably be using quite a lot of them. 
You know how the stamps always have a little bit of residue, for a little film on them, um, just because they're new? And then if you were just to use those directly from this without conditioning them or whatever, there's always a little film and they may not actually stamp correctly until you stamp that off a couple of times. Well, when I get my stamp sets, they're very sturdy. They're a lot stronger than you would imagine. So what I do is I take a little drop of soapy water, just a little drop of soap in it and plenty of water and a little scrubbing brush and I keep them all on this set. Lay them flat on the worktop and just scrub right over them with a little scrubbing brush. Dry them off with a tea towel and then leave it sitting for a moment or two until it's completely dry and that is good to go straight after that and you won't have any problem at all with finding parts of it aren't stamping until you try it out a couple of times. That's just a little top tip and it's what I do every time I get a, a stamp set like that. So, Okay, I'll be back in just a moment. I've decided to use a 6x6 white card and then I've taken some Harvest Gold Mirror card and I've cut that to 14.5 centimetres by 14.5 in a square and then I have cut a piece of ivory card to 14 centimetres square and attached that on top. I did that before I came on camera because when I use some mirror card you can usually see my face looking back at it. Eh, well, not what you'd really like to see. So, I'm going to attach that on there and um, I think whenever you're using vintage type papers like this I really love to have light coloured and bright cards. So when we're having vintage papers in and they're quite dull, although they're absolutely beautiful, I tend to try to use some uh, mirror card and some light coloured card just to show them off a little bit better. So this is one of the, um, it's possibly called a topper anyway, it's on the 12 by 12 sheet uh, and I've cut it down to 13 and a half centimetres square and I'm going to glue that on top there. You can see it's double sided so you pick whichever side you prefer but for what I'm using it for I like this. Then I have taken this little border die and I've just put it right down to the very edge of the card and again the gold mirror card and I'm going to attach that on there right up against the top and another one that I've cut and that's going right along the bottom and then that gives the whole card a lift that little pop of gold. Now what I want to do of course is put this on here first and trim that off and then glue that on top and then I've taken the mannequin die that's this one and cut that in the gold harvest gold again and there it is um, and there I am <laughs> but anyhow I'll set that aside because that is going to get glued on here and when I've done that I'll come back and show you what I am going to do then with the little dress. That's it all glued together there and I've left myself out some um, glitter embossing powder and some clear mark embossing ink as well. Um, you'll probably notice the little G on here. I always put a little uh, red dot with a G on top of any of the glitter ones and then that helps me find it more easily whenever I'm looking for some embossing powder. I know which ones are glitter and which ones are plain. So let's have a little look here. I've already gone ahead and no, I haven't got the magnets on yet, but I've cut the little piece of card that I want. And I, I'm just going to check that the magnets still fit. I cut it quite small, but yeah, they do. Yeah. So I'm using my stamping platform because I find that works easily and I know I'm just going to get it right. Each time I have gone ahead and placed the stamps over the, the part of the paper that I like. And now I'm going to take some clear mark embossing pad, this little ink pad here, and I'm going to stamp this onto here. I will use my glitter embossing powder all over the top and then I'll melt that. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this out.
So there then, I die cut the dress and embossed it. I'm just going to add it on here. I've got 3D foam pads in behind and I wanted to raise it up there. And that uh, looks absolutely beautiful on there. I hope you can get the... I've turned the light on there because the daylight's a bit strange at the moment and I think that should show up the gold a bit better. So there we are. And I've done exactly the same with the little hat. And I'm just going to attach it at the top of that little mannequin there because it looks like it's hanging off the top of it. I have die cut the little bow um, with this little tiny die here and I'm going to add that onto the dress and then I'll put a little uh, crystal drop in the centre. This is but uh, buttermilk. I love this colour and it goes really well with this so I'll probably be adding some more dots in and around the flowers there just to bring this all together. But you saw me there I'm sure um, stamping and embossing this little image. So to get the two together, what I did was I stamped and um, embossed the outer one first, the little label effect with the stitching around it. And when that was done, then I, I stamped the thanks into the centre and embossed that as well. Now I've just taken a, my pokey tool and I've made a little hole in that. And then I die cut this little die with the gold card again here. And I've just snipped that off. Uh, you can just, just about see it there snipped it off and I'm going to put that in through there and that looks like the little pin is holding that so um, I want to keep that flat on at the top there just like that and that will say thanks with the little pin. I'll go ahead and glue all that together and I think that has turned out really well. I'm really happy with that because so much gold is making that really pop and it shows off the dyes and everything really beautifully. So I'll glue it all together now. For my second card I have taken another 6x6 six six card, card blank, and I've scored it in half across the centre there to make an easel card, because I thought this would look really beautiful with the sewing machine sitting up on it. And I've gone ahead then with some of the card and the paper and already layered it up. So I have taken the gold Harvest Gold card, and that is at 14 and a half by 7 centimetres. Then the ivory is at... 14 by 6 and a half and then this one is 13 and a half by 6 and I have done that twice two pieces of card exactly the same and one is going to get glued on here and as you can see from this one I've got foam pads along one edge and uh, double sided tape on the other so the reason for this is that this will be the stopper so I've already taken the backing off these and I'm just going to put this here um, just down like that And then you can see whenever the card opens and sits up that that will act as a stopper and it won't just fall down flat. It needed something raised up there. So I'll glue this piece on here. Then I have taken this beautiful die that has this sewing machine on it. I've cut that out in gold and the backing plate in ivory card. I've already glued them both together there. And when I put this on here, I'm going to add this on to the top and then I'll decorate it with some of the other pieces, but I'm loving this so far. Beautiful vintage sewing machine and a beautiful vintage paper to go with it. So I'll, I'll attach this together. That's it finished. So what I did was, you can just see there, I have taken the beautiful little scissors die and I've put this on here in the gold and I've used these. So we've got the needle, that's there, and I cut out the long piece that looks probably is supposed to be wool, but I have cut it out here in the ivory card. I've threaded it through the needle 
so that it looks like um, ivory thread and I've put it on here. I have embossed the sentiment which says tailor made just for you. I've put a little thimble and a little zip part on there and two little buttons on here and I think that looked really really beautiful. I've also added some crystal drops onto the flowers again and I think the two of them just look really really lovely. Those dyes are beautiful and the paper is beautiful with it as well. So let me know if you like this kind of thing. Do you like making vintage cards or you prefer something more modern, more contemporary? I actually love a mixture of both. I'm, I'm just drawn to this type of thing as, as much as I am to some of the other styles of cards that I make as well. Um, so that's the cards finished and um, I'll have all my affiliate links to the products down below. So if you've enjoyed this don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well and I'll be back soon and see you again. Thanks very much for watching in the meantime. Bye bye.